Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Thursday, the Feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship the birth of the Virgin Mary. Let us worship her Son, Christ the Lord. Come, Come let, let us, us celebrate, celebrate the birth of the Virgin Mary. Let us worship her Son, Christ the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us celebrate the birth of the Virgin Mary. Let us worship her Son, Christ the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us celebrate the birth of the Virgin Mary. Let us worship her Son, Christ the Lord. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, Come let us celebrate the birth of the Virgin Mary. Let us worship her Son, Christ the Lord. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us celebrate the birth of the Virgin Mary. Let us worship her Son, Christ the Lord. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. <clears throat> Come, let us celebrate the birth of the Virgin Mary. Let us worship her Son, Christ the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let, let us celebrate the birth of the Virgin Mary. Let us worship her Son, Christ the Lord. We commemorate the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a descendant of Abraham, born of the tribe of Judah and of David's seed. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When the Most Holy Virgin was born, the whole world was made radiant. Blessed is the branch, and blessed is the stem, which bore such holy fruit. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. 
Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble hearts, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Let us joyfully celebrate the birth of Blessed Mary so that she may intercede for us before Jesus Christ the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's Son exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chain and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Impart to your servants, we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her Son was the dawning of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. The Lord says, You, Bethlehem Ephrata, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me, one who is to be ruler in Israel whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore, the Lord will give them up until the time when he who is to give birth has born, and the rest of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and separate his flock by the strength of the Lord. In the majestic name of the Lord, his God, and they shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Though I trust that in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. 
Let me sing of the Lord. He has been good to me. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Please stand. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise. From you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention, when behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. December 8th, Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. September 8th, that is today, Feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mga kapatid, pansin niyo ba yung kaibahan? Sasabihin niyo, of course, magkaiba, Father. Yung isa ay December, yung isa ay September. Although pareho sila, madaling maalala, 8. December 8, September 8. Pero nabanggit ko, siniguro kong banggitin, para mahala tayong kaibahan. Yung isa ay solemnity, yung isa ay feast. Solemnity is the highest liturgical celebration in the church. Yung feast, medyo mababa ng konti. Pero yung isa na hindi natin nakita agad na kaibahan ay ito. December 8 is a dogma of faith. Ito'y doktrina ng pananampalataya. Kaya nga ito ay itinuturo ng simbahan, minsan pa ulit-ulit para maintindihan, at pinapaliwanag ng mga pari, lalo na sa sermon sa misa. <clears throat> at para sa ating mga katoliko, it is a holiday of obligation. Ibig sabihin, we are obliged to observe it as a holiday. Kaya nga, noon, kailangan lahat ng Katoliko yung magsimba kapag ka December 8 because it's a solemnity, it's a holiday of obligation. At kapag ka hindi ka nagsimba, ewan ko lang ngayon, no? pero dati ang alam ko, hindi ka nagsimba, ito ay malaking kasalanan. You commit mortal sin. So December 8 is a dogma of faith, pero September 8, gawa-gawa ko lang po ito, is a dogma of love. Ito ay doktrina ng pag-ibig. Bakit? Sapagkat para sa ating katoliko, unang-una, is not a holiday of obligation. Magsimba ka o hindi, okay lang. Walang kinokontra. Walang batas na kinokontra. Bakit? Sapagkat, Para sa, isang but, para sa isang butihing ina tulad ni Maria, mula sa isang butihing anak, 
hindi kailangan ang batas. We do not need a law to love a mother. Natural para sa isang anak ang mahalin ang kanyang ina. Kaya pag birthday, inaalala. Kaya pag hindi mo naalala yung birthday ng nanay mo, walang hiyang anak ka. Kapag birthday, hindi na pinapaalala. Kusang inaalala, kusang ginugunita, at may saya. O, matanong na natin, sarili natin, tayo na lahat na dito. Sino sa inyo dito ang nakaalala at ginugunita ang inyong araw na pinaglihi kayo? O, yung mga tatay, naglihi yung asawa nyo sa anak nyo. Inaalala nyo ba? Nag-assign ba tayo ng araw? At sasabihin natin, anak, happy conception day. O, magtaas ng kamay, pustahan tayo wala. Pero yung birthday, hindi kailangan ng batas. Marami nagsisimba. Naalala. Ang birthday ay pag-alala ng kaarawan ng pagmamahal. As brothers and sisters, today, we celebrate love. We celebrate the love of God in Mary. We celebrate the love of God for Mary. And we celebrate the love of God for us. Because Mary was born not only for Jesus, Mary, as a mother, was born for us. Kaya kung merong theme song, ang mahal na ina, hindi lang ang Magnificat, ang theme song na mahal na ina ay, I was born for you. Kung alam niyo yung kantang yun, kantahin niyo na lang mamaya. Kaya mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, by extension, we could also celebrate this day for all mothers. Pagdiwang natin yung mga nanay, yung mga buhay, kapiling natin, at mga yumao, pagdiwang natin ang mga nanay sa araw na ito. Sinabi ko pagdiwang ang mga nanay, mga kapatid, pagdiwang po natin yung mga tunay na nanay lang. Hindi yung mukhang nanay. O sinabi ko mukhang nanay, bigla kayong tumingin sa katabi nyo. Huwag ganun. Respeto lang po. We celebrate the love of God for us. Today, we thank the Lord for the gift of a mother. Today, we praise the Lord for Mary. And today, we tell her, Happy Birthday. Kaya mo, mga kapatid, sabihin nating lahat, sundan niyo ako. Mother Mary, we love you. Mother Mary, Happy Birthday. Please stand. In the birth of Our Lady, we see the Father's plan for the world's redemption entering its final stage. With her at our side, let us pray to God who created her full of grace. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the intercession of Mary, bless us, O Father, that the Church may fearlessly proclaim the Gospel committed to her, to her by Mary's Son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those without faith may turn to the Lord who was born to save His people from their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may give our mothers due love and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Mary's prayers may draw back those who have abandoned the practice of their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and the development of our country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of Father Norberto Castillo, who is celebrating his, his ordination anniversary today, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the, de for the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may welcome Jesus in the Eucharist as God with us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, in this Eucharist, your family rejoices with the Blessed Mary and Joachim and Anne, her parents. Grant what we ask for in faith through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink blessed be god forever please stand my brothers and sisters that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the humanity of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid, and may he, who at his birth from the Blessed Virgin did not diminish, but consecrated her integrity by taking from us now our wicked deeds, make our oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, while supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim what have all until you come Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church prayer throughout the world and being heard to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and pray forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Mga kapatid, kahit anong pinagdaanan natin, tandaan natin meron tayong ina. As ay nagdiriwang ng kanyang karawan ngayon, pakita natin ang saya ng kanyang birthday. Sangitin natin sa ating katabi as we give each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Your birth, O Virgin Mother of God, proclaims joy to the whole world. For from you arose the glorious Son of Justice, Christ our God. He freed us from the old, age-old curse and filled us with the holiness. He destroyed death and gave us eternal life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old 
that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Your, Your birth, birth, O Virgin Mother of God, proclaims joy to the whole world. For from you arose the glorious Son of Justice, Christ our God. He freed us from the age-old curse and filled us with holiness. He destroyed death and gave us eternal life. Let us pray. As we celebrate with joy the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, and we humbly pray to be given strength by the humanity of your Son, who from her was pleased to take flesh, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Rosary of Manawak, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawakminorbasilica.org, for the online pamisa. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continual support. Please all stand. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw sa Basilika, sa inyong pakikisa sa ating Misa. Naway sa inyong pag-uwi, bitbit nyo ang mga biyaya ng Diyos at ang mga panalangin na mahal na ina. Ingat sa pag-uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.